I'm Emily Turner in Oakland, where most of the teachers who want the vaccine have been able to get it, and that is why students are now headed back into the classroom. In fact, they haven't been in classes like here at Montero Middle School in more than 13 months. Just <laughs> going to be a big day today. Now, students in grades 3 through 6 who opted for in-person instruction will be back on campus. They're going to be joining pre-K through 2, who came back on March 30th, and teachers are going to be going back to school with a $2,000 a week week stipend, uh, even though it's going to look a whole lot different than it did in years past. Now, the union did issue this statement today saying that, quote, OEA believes that phasing in student return uh, on April 19th allows for all educators to complete their vaccinations, and if they so choose, and from the state's targeted vaccination program to reach our most vulnerable communities. Now, speaking of those most vulnerable communities, that is an issue with why everything isn't all roses today. The union is going to release the results a little bit later of a vote of no confidence in OUSD's reopening plans later today. And the union says that it has to do with not just special education, but teacher workloads, including agreements regarding remote service, prep time for teaching and class and remotely, uh, as well as accommodations for childcare and leave time for teachers whose families are at special risk for contracting the virus. So because of those issues, they issued that vote of no confidence over the weekend. We'll hear the results today, but in a few hours, uh, sixth graders here at Montero Middle School will be back. So it's a big day on all rounds, just unfortunately not all of it is good. Now, when it comes to negotiations with the union, that will have to be aided by mediation with the state. Reporting live in Oakland, Emily Turner, KPIX 5. Emily, thank